investing in yourself is the best decision you will ever make as a man. What's going on, guys? Kayvon Rashad will help you men get fit physically, spiritually, and emotionally. Just got off from work not too long ago. I had to go to ther physical therapy. And then I was like, man, fuck it. Let me go get a manicure, man. I got my nails done, right? A nice little manicure, bro. $20, bro. But I was just thinking, bro, as I was listening to a podcast while I was getting my nails done. And I made this before. I've done this. Every time I go get my nails done, I always got some shit to say. But you got to invest in yourself, bro. As a man, you got to invest in yourself. You want better, you're going to have to invest. Invest is like, you are not. You might not see the return right away. But just know there is going to be a return. You're the best investment you'll ever make. Think about it, bro. If you want more out of life, you're going to have to invest. You want money when you retire. You invest now. You invest in those stocks. You invest into your Roth IRA and shit like that. Right? But we're just talking, talking about you. Because you're the best investment, bro. How do you expect... Let's just talk about women for a little bit. I know this is the shit y'all be wanting to hear. But it's like, how do you want a woman to treat you like a king? And you don't even treat yourself like a king, bro. That's not how that shit works. It says, it's a famous quote. I don't know who said this shit, bro. But it says, God helps the man that helps himself. Once God sees you working, once he sees you working, he sees you you're putting effort in towards something you want, he going to give you that boost. He going to send you those tools. He going to give you that opportunity to get further and push yourself further, right? Now, of course, I'm not telling saying women are gods and shit like that. However, what I'm saying is when you're doing stuff for yourself already, when you're loving yourself, when you're respecting yourself, you treating yourself with nice names and you exemplify that, Remember what, like I said, what you exemplify, a woman's gonna glorify. So you gotta be taking care of yourself. You gotta be investing in yourself, my nigga. Like getting your haircut, bro. I get my haircut three or four times a month. The nails for the past two months, I've been getting my nails done. Just getting a manicure. I ain't getting no fucking long ass nails like a female, but just getting my nails done. I've been doing that shit twice a month. So every bi week, bi weekly. So every two weeks, I'll go. Get my nails done, bro. Just get the dirt out of my nails. Think about it. You with a woman, bro. You do, you can intimate with your girl or a girl or multiple girls. You got to make sure your nails clean. You got to make sure the dirt out there. Because we, we we clean. We clean dudes over here. We keep shit clean, bro. We gonna, we respect women's bodies, bro. We respect, we respect, men, respect women and we respect women's bodies. So we got to keep our nails clean and shit like that. But just thinking, brother, like, how do you expect women to do nice things for you? How do you expect them to take you out on dates, buy you lunch? pay for your hair because if you ain't doing that shit for yourself already because again my mom has a famous thing she says it's not the convincing business shit but it's another thing she's always telling me when i was first started posting it right take trying to get my my instagram and tiktok up and she always said even when they're not watching they're always watching even when they're not watching they're always watching so you gotta always that's why i say your appearance matters guys your looks matter your appearance matters you ain't gotta be dressed up you ain't gotta have a fucking blazer walk around this bitch with blazers and shit on but you definitely need to make sure your appearance is on point make sure you're presentable making sure you're you're presenting what you want the people to treat you like dress how you want to impress dress how you want to be addressed that's the saying dress how you want to be addressed so if you want to be if you want to be treated like a king you gotta teach you gotta treat yourself like a king bro so again doing the little things getting your getting the manicure getting your hair cut investing into some new cologne investing investing into some new clothes that's going to make you your, your, your physique look good right because your other clothes just beat the fuck up getting some new shoes some shoes that's the nice that makes you feel good right taking yourself out to eat right you outside the appearance shit investing into courses that's going to help you get your invest that's going to help you make more money investing the things that's going to make you more money investing the things that's going to give you a better life right but you got to invest in yourself bro you are the you are the best investment, bro. You are the best investment, my dude. You gotta start acting like it, bro. Cause again, what you exemplify, the world is gonna glorify. What you exemplify, the world is gonna glorify. So again, bro, you gotta just you gotta keep yourself clean, smelling good. Your appearance, again, the surface level shit matters at first. I'm sorry to tell you, the surface level shit is what's important at first. Remember your looks gives you is like it's like the key it gets you inside the door your character you know what I'm saying your mouthpiece the game the knowledge wisdom understanding you have right and how you carry yourself that keeps you in that gets you further inside the house wherever door you went through but again guys you are the best investment bro if you're on this channel and you really 
need to you and you're really trying to make progress in life and you want to get your life together you need to invest in yourself bro you need to invest in yourself you, sometimes you need you might need to expose yourself to, to new things like i said bro i spent 481 dollars on, on on cologne i i'm not going to tell y'all the cologne i might tell y'all if you're inside the community but if you're not in the community bro i'm not going to tell you because it's like damn i gotta smell like me i gotta make sure i keep my smell gate i gotta get, keep certain things but I spent $481 on cologne. I've never spent that much on cologne. The most I've ever spent on cologne was about $234, right? But I've never spent $400 plus on cologne. But it smells good. I don't see that many people with that cologne, right? And I get compliments, bro. It's a return on investment, bro. You want women to come up to you. You got to give them a reason. Like I told you guys in my other video, you got to give women a reason to fuck with you. Why should she come up to you? You smell good. You got all nice clothes and you got some you got some game. You you think you're a thinking man. Because as a man thinking in his heart, so is he. But again, guys, listen. Invest in yourself, bro. With that being said, don't forget to like my shit. Don't forget to comment, subscribe. And if you're trying to get your personalized workouts and macros, you're trying to get access to courses, you need to join the shit to fit university community on school, man, and tap in with your boy. All right, deuces.